Today, we're talking about the Besson BE165 non-compensating euphonium, as well as we're gonna have a presentation from Buffet Crampon representative Donnie Todd, and I will also be giving a playing demonstration. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on guys? Aaron here helping musicians get better faster through performance, educational videos, and reviews. And again, today we're talking about the BE-165 non-compensating euphonium. So I was invited down to the Carlton Music Center in Lakeland, Florida by Buffet representative Donnie Todd to talk about and get a chance to play the Besson BE-165 euphonium. Just some things I wanna talk about before I show you guys Donnie's presentation is that this is a non-compensating, it's gonna be about an intermediate level or student level euphonium. It's got the three plus one system, three valves up top, one on the side system, which you don't see in the intermediate horns very often. It also comes with many of the options that you haven't been able to find in this level of instrument, like large bore, silver plating, uh, the spit catcher underneath the valve guide. Plus, it's priced very competitively to all of the instruments that are in that price bracket that you would normally see in high schools um, or intermediate level players playing. But enough about me talking about the horn. Let's take it to the actual representative. Here's Donnie talking about the BE-165. Hello, I'm Donnie Todd, Southeast Division Manager with Buffet Crampon. I'm here at Carlton Music Center in Lakeland, Florida to do a quick product demo of our BE-165 New Standard Performance Series Euphonium. This four valve instrument is offered to school music dealers and is used throughout the country now as one of the staples in school band programs. The features of the instruments I'll highlight, but I want to first introduce my host here today from Carlton Music Center, manager Joe Gavin and Julie Carlton. Features of the 165 euphonium are a large shank receiver, which is standard on all Besson euphoniums, no matter if it's the three valve 162, the 165, the Sovereign, or the Prestige. This allows for a very robust tone quality, no matter what the volume or the pitch range is. The instrument also comes with something unique to uh, this price point in the industry, which is a water catcher beneath the valve section, which is removable. It keeps moisture and valve oil from the player's clothing. We also offer this instrument in the three valve 162 model for those that don't need the fourth valve, mainly for beginning band programs. We realize that music educators are concerned about cases for instruments. Uh, we do have a very lightweight case for the 165 and 162 euphoniums that are equipped with skateboard wheels so that you can move them very quickly and easily. So what I thought would be fun to give you guys a little bit of context is I actually played side by side with my 2051 and the BE165 just so you guys have some comparison to what I normally play on and then me switching directly onto this other instrument. <laughs> I also did some noodling around and going up and down, just trying some of the different features and testing some of the scarier ranges. <laughs> My final
final thoughts on the instrument are that it sounds great. It's very open and free blowing, and it has that deep, dark, rich sound that we've come to expect from Besson brass instruments. The features like the large bore and the three plus one are also extremely nice for the student intermediate level instruments. You don't get to see those features very often in this level of instrument. So we're not setting up students right to play on professional instruments down the line because they're playing on a system that's completely different from what they're going to get when they actually upgrade to a professional instrument. Also at this price point, this is the best instrument on the market the best priced horn out there, as well as the best playing horn. I also tried this horn in the lacquer finish and it sounded just as great. And apparently the price is very similar between the two. So it's really just a matter of choice when it comes to those two options as well. But yeah guys, those are my thoughts on the BE-165 non-compensating euphonium. What questions do you have? Are you excited for this instrument or are you still a little skeptic? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if there was anything that we didn't cover that you wanna know about this horn. Of course, I'm also going to link to the instrument's description on Besson's website down below, as well as if you have any questions for Donnie, I'm gonna leave his email in the description down below as well. I'll also link a dealer resource so you can find who's selling these instruments in your area. As always, hit that like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to get these videos directly to you. Until next time, again, I'm Aaron Campbell reminding you to stay happy but never be satisfied.